Hey everybody, this is Basil from Inventory Planner and I'm here to talk a little bit about the new catalog section. The catalog is a central point to manage vendors, cost information, warehouses, lead times, listings, bundles, forecast settings, alerts, you name it. We can come into the vendor section. Here we can create vendors in Inventory Planner. We can also adjust different details related to vendors. Of course, we can still click into the settings for any particular vendor to see and manage information. Now we can also click into the variants associated with any particular vendor to manage information just as we could in the previous vendor section. We can also click into the forecast settings section to manage different forecast settings, of, of course, which will impact forecasted needs and replenishment recommendations throughout that replenishment report. Um, here, of course, we're going to start out with your default settings as we'll pick them up from your account settings and this forecast tab. Now you can also manage, of course, this information. You can customize by SKU throughout the replenishment report by selecting details, coming into the screen, going over to forecast settings. Here we can override the default and make adjustments. Well, now we've centralized that area here within the catalog. So you can come in here, we can override the default settings. We could do this for a lot of items at once and change to any kind of method that we'd like. For example, if we're using the last sales method, using the last X days, we can assign that information right in here, which is very useful. In this section, we can also quickly combine the sales and or stock information from an existing item over to a new item. We might need this function, for example, if we have an old item that is transitioned and we don't have any history for the new item, then we could simply grab an older item and apply it. And we can specify a specific percentage that we want to copy over that history. Say it's going to perform about 75% as well. We're going to stop combining it by May 30th uh, because we'll have enough history at that point to be able to forecast based on its own sales. So this would be a quick opportunity to also merge that sales and or stock information over. Now we can also go into the vendor attributes section. This is an area where we manage vendor related attributes that impact variants that we order from our suppliers. Whether we have multiple suppliers for the same item, then we can go ahead and add them. Say I have my China supplier services for $7. We could input tiered cost pricing by vendor, units of measurements, minimum order quantities, all kinds of useful information that we can manage within this area. We can also go to the listings area of the catalog, and this would be an area to manage multiple versions of the same item. Now, whether this is the same item across different stores, uh, or whether this is multiple versions of the same item within the same store. What we'll try to do in general when you connect to Inventory Planner is to automatically detect listings, whether it's by matching SKU or matching barcode. Now, every once in a while, if there's a small disconnect in that information, uh, we won't detect it automatically. You can always reach out to the inventory planner support team to help to enforce some kind of automatic logic to link together those listings or we can come into this section and we can manually link together items you have to assign some kind of master SKU. we're going to call this one my SKU. once we assign a master SKU, we can go ahead and, and manage this manually say we want to add this listing it's also another version of the same item we can save that and we can also manage other properties such as ip tags uh, which would be internal tags for reporting and filtering purposes in our system cbm which is size information volume uh, and of course net and gross weight as well we can manage within this area now if we pop over to the warehouses section within catalog here we can manage lead time days of stock settings uh, by location. We can also manage minimum safety stocks or maximums. We can also customize alerts. Say if we want to customize alerts to any particular location, we turn on those custom settings and then we make adjustments to the types of alerts we set. Now, whether we enable the alert or not, this sends you emails, low stock alerts to your email address by selecting notify in advance. We'll get ahead of it based on the lead time to make sure you can place new orders before you run out of stock. Now the last section within catalog is the bundle and components section. This is an area to configure bundle component relationships. Now if you use an inventory management system where you've already configured this information, we should be able to pull that in automatically. Otherwise, we can go ahead and configure bundles and components. We can select this button at the bottom left. This allows us to convert a, an existing variant, such as let's say this is a variant, we're converting it into a bundle. 
So we're gonna go ahead and save that. We've made it into a bundle. Now we have to assign some components. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna click the, the button here. We can either add an existing variance. Let's say it also includes this item. Um, or we could add an IP variant if we need to have some, some dye to make this material. Then we can create this IP variant. Now we can come in here and manage these component bundle relationships that we'll be able to use for forecasting. We can also manage whether these are produced bundles and, and manage other kinds of information. Um, so that's just a little bit about the catalog section. We look forward to seeing how you, in, how you utilize this area. Now all of these functions are available throughout the system in different areas. Again, once you are throughout replenishment and reporting, you can click into the details icon and manage a lot of this information, whether it's vendor related attributes, or you select this more button to see other kinds of information such as listings and bundles and warehouses, etc. This is just an area to centralize all of that and help you manage it from one place as you'd like. So we hope you enjoy it. Please let us know if you have any questions. Uh, we look forward to, to hearing your feedback. All right, take care and enjoy.